two of you did. Where's Lydia? Lydia, oh, there you are. Okay. Come on, Lydia. I haven't given you that much to carry. That's a lie. Yes, I have. I wouldn't be so quick to... Yeah. Well, rip her. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out there. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. Okay, now they can get out of there before they get eaten alive. There's trouble. We have to deal with this. Dealt with. I'm right behind you. Say, did you promise to do anything for me? I am sworn to carry your burdens. That's what I thought. One, no, one, two, no. Oh my god. Damn it, and Stara! Ah, uh, oh, Jesus. Make little help here. They look at you expectant. Note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. Oh, and it's back here again. What the hell was that? Oh yeah, this is good.
Why would I do that, Aranar? Uh, yeah, back off. You really don't want to be standing there. Nadine, I'm giving you the count of five. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. That was unexpected. That was unexpected. <laughs> Magic from a time long forgotten. Remind me not to take a dump in that hole. Do you really have to make jokes? Yeah, it's in my contract. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> uh... Oh... <laughs> ah. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... I... <laughs> well, crap. Alright. We've had a redemption for a terrible pun. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. Fire Lena, welcome on in. It's nice to have you here. Good to meet you. We're going to be doing some Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom today. Uh, hang on just a moment. There we go. Okay. Now, where did we leave off? Uh, yes, I believe we're about to start the Wind Temple. So, I've gone back here and uh, gotten a couple of extra hearts. We're still relatively early in this playthrough because I haven't really done the main story too terribly much. I've just been wandering around, screwing around with building vehicles and weird contraptions. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody's had a fantastic week. A good couple of days since last stream on Tuesday. It's been relatively uneventful for me, except in the, you know, working on behind-the-scenes Twitch stuff, building up my Discord bot and everything, which is going better than I expected, honestly. I hit some setbacks, which had the unintended side effect of catapulting progress way ahead of where I expected it to be. So, that was fun. But, uh, yeah, it's been quiet. Oh, is it? No, it's not visible on camera. That's unfortunate. Here. <clears throat> I also received the promised BD1 Lego set, which, uh, you know, I had promised as a charity reward. That was one of our targets for fundraising, and since we hit our target this year, we're going to build him on stream. We're not going to do it right away. I'm not going to work on it today. But probably in about a week or so, I'm figuring next week or something, I've got to do some cleaning up and making sure that my setup is ready for another LEGO build. We'll pro probably start going back to our usual pattern with the LEGO builds of doing about a bag or so of LEGO a day. So yeah, that'll work out to roughly one to maybe two hours of LEGO build streaming at the start of each stream. Uh, BD1 is the biggest LEGO set we are going to have built I'm just running in circles, aren't I? Okay. Um, by, you know, not necessarily in physical dimension sense, but in the sense of the just the sheer number of pieces. It's not the biggest set out there by any stretch, but um, 
the Star Wars Mandalorian Razor Crest chip is the set with the largest number of pieces. It had 1,020 some odd pieces, I believe. And BD1 has 1,060 something pieces. So it's a good 40 pieces bigger. Not a huge amount bigger, but it's still the biggest set we're gonna build by number of pieces. So I'm looking forward to that very much. And uh, we're doing that because, of course, for most of the month of May, while we were doing our St. Jude fundraising, we were playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. But now let's stop running in circles. We're gonna, oh, we wanna be back up in the sky. We're trying to go there. We died up there. We want to go back to, I believe it is Maya Yumenkis, Mekis? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Maya Mekis Shrine. That's my closest approximation. It's probably very wrong, but that's okay. So we're going to head back there and continue our trek to the Wind Temple and see where we go from there. Getting to this point has been really fun, I've got to say. It's been a lot of fun. Hebra Mountain Sky. Oh, oh Link. Uh -huh. You're back. Come on. We've got more investigating to do. All right, Tulin. Where do we head from here? We're going generally that way. That's a long way up we have to go. <sighs> okay, so we've got the catapult apparatus here. Actually, probably don't want to catapult upwards just yet, do I? We should check this little bit of floating architecture out and see what's going on. I doubt there's a whole lot right here, but I'd like to find out just in case. A lot of game developers I know from experience, they like to reward exploration. And the Zelda folks are actually pretty good about that in particular. Oh. Huh. Oh. Of course, I'm being dumb. Forgive me. <laughs> and nothing. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Okay, so where are we trying to go? We're just still trying to go generally up there. I don't see an obvious path, although that stuff looks like it's an awful lot closer in height to where we are now. I wonder if it's possible this is actually where we came from. It's been a few days, and you know what? Yes, that's exactly right. Okay. So let's head back over to the temple, if we can. And we'll see if we can figure out how to get up there. That's what we used this for. We had to... Whoops. Oh. 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 No. No. Hmm. Wrong button. Right. Okay. So we're going to have to bust through this ice, and then there's probably a jump thingy down below. That's a technical term, by the way. There's no jump thingy, but I will take the chest. Arrows are always welcome. Oh, how did I... Did I just lose a bunch of health because I fell too far? I don't remember being that low on health. Okay, this doesn't actually look like it's going to be too big a problem. There we go. 
This looks like our path. Just gotta check, in case there's something hidden around a corner somewhere. Okay, and here we gain some altitude. Very nice. I don't see anything hidden around here. Looks like a stack-up puzzle over that way. <clears throat> Interesting. Oh, I get it. Okay. So that's why they put these things here. They are very conveniently located, so we're going to have to climb up these to get some additional height. And then we should be able to transition upwards. That ore... Looks like the alternate route is to go down there and descend that way. Or, looks like you can stack those three and maybe ascend all the way up that way. But I want to see what's up here. Okay, yeah, that looks like gaining that height there is going to be key. Oop, land, there we go. Nothing up here? All right. Let us then do this. That was probably less than ideal. Oh, interesting. Okay. Not really the best climbing surface, so let's square them up. Good enough. Actually, looks like they kind of want to be down here. I realize these are not stacked expertly, but that's okay. Okay, interesting. Thank you for the boost. <clears throat> and here we go. This is our route. Actually, I don't even know if we need that one. We can go straight here. Flame emitter. Uh, 
I don't have anything I can put a flame emitter on, sadly. Okay, so it looks like we kind of want to go here. That should be close enough, I would think. Okay, so there is a little ship thing down there, and another one there, too. Also some stackable boxes. Four of them. I hope I'm not backtracking because this room looks very familiar. You know, I, you know, I kind of don't love this. Renamar, six freaking years. Holy crap, sir. Thank you so much. How are you today? Lord with morning wool, six full years. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> Oop. <laughs> Whoops. How are things going, Renamar? It's really good to see you. I hope all is well today. We're just getting started here. Yeah, always good to be Friday. <sighs> okay. Maybe if I ascend out of here first. That'll save me the bomb getting out of there. So how do we get up there? I thought this was the key to it, but... This does seem awfully familiar. It looks like we have to get over there, and I'm not convinced that we haven't already been there, too. Also, barring anything that comes up, also done with your meetings for the day, which is unusual for you. That's awesome. Congratulations. There's very little better than a meeting-free Friday. Okay, maybe we haven't actually been here, because we haven't dealt with this guy before. Not in this area. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. Luckily, he doesn't seem to be in a terribly hostile mood. So, any big plans for the weekend? Okay, this... Oh, interesting. Nope, come on, Link. Man, it's almost like they don't want to be caught or something. Oh. 
Oh, did my weapon break? Oh, it did, didn't it? No, it didn't. Okay, it's just because I died. I'm sure I've been here. This is ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> let's try cooking it instead. They've tried that at work to designate certain days as meeting free, but the problem is that it's usually just our group or our division. All the other groups we work with don't have that expectation, so we'll schedule meetings anyway. Heat resistance. Interesting. Uh, it's hard to imagine I'm going to need a lot of heat resistance, but just in case, we'll go with it anyway. go. There it is. <laughs> Chili salt grilled fish. Sounds disgusting, but hey, maybe it'll come in handy. Who knows? Okay, this does not look particularly familiar, so maybe we're on the right track after all. I'm suffering serious deja vu, but because it was Tuesday, we did all the other parts leading up here. I'm not certain if it's... wait. Wait just a second. This is some serious, serious deja vu. These blocks, they're gonna fall out from under me as I run, aren't they? Damn it, I have been here. On the plus side, that means I get to... Oh, no, let's not use the axe. Ow. I missed killing this guy, so... Little bit of a plus. These broken, bro I can talk. I swear. These broken icicles. I wonder if I can fuse them into weaponry. Didn't even occur to me to try. Yeah, I've definitely been here before. That's all right. So we're kind of redoing part of our journey. Let's actually heal up a little bit. Do I have anything? I should, probably should have cooked a little more. Just specifically for health restoration. Now, did we need this to ascend? We did, didn't we?
Okay, that was good enough. I can't believe I accidentally backtracked. Except... <sighs> this is annoying. It looks so familiar, but there are parts that just really don't. Like, I don't remember these two boats being in sync and nearby like this. Oh, crap. Oh, that was probably why they put this here. Tracking though, we're getting a lot closer to the storm. Maybe they're just repeating some puzzle elements. I mean, where's the shrine? The shrine's way over here. to go for this. Damn it! This did take us right back to the shrine. Okay. How the heck did we get back here? That's so weird. But at least, okay, so we have to get back over that way. Back on track now. That's that's the important thing. So I guess we're waiting on this to get closer and then Oh god, this is just gonna be one massive jumping puzzle until we can get into the storm safely, isn't it? We're going over here.
Hammer, how's it go going? It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, and I... <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make this. Crap. Oh no. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was so close. Oh, but we can make this. We can make this. We can make this. We can... Oh, God, it's moving fast. We're almost above the storm. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Surely we can make it into the eye by now. Wind Temple, the legendary Stormwind Dark. How are you doing, Hammer? I hope all is well with you. Wind Temple 1F. We made it. Wow. So this was what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is the storm wind dark from the kids' song. Oh. Hmm? Hey, Zelda, good to see you. Huh? huh? What the? This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village is coming from there. Oh yeah, didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Not even a minute ago. Weird, I could swear they were just here. You found a massive ship, which Tulin says is the Stormwind Dark, floating inside the Thunderhead. A figure greatly resembling Princess Zelda was seen on the ship's deck before she vanished suddenly. The blizzard, which shows no sign of abating, is coming from below the hatch. The cause of the Rito's suffering seems close at hand. Okay. Just one moment. Ugh, okay. So did anybody watch the... Uh, the games events that have been happening over the last couple of days. I haven't watched many of the trailers yet, but there were a massive number of trailers, most of which I posted to my Discord in various channels. Looks like we've got some really awesome stuff to look forward to. Greeny, how's it going? Good to see you. Looks like it's shut tight, but the source of the blizzard has got to be right under that hatch. Isn't there some way we can get it open? Nope, it's a lost cause. Might as well just give up. Huh. That sound. There it is again. Brave Fletchling. There are still five locks securing the hatch on the deck. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. Okay. Divine, Divine Beast Divine number one. Words. Okay, I heard it for sure this time. It was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's go figure out how to open up those locks. Oh, 
Damn it. Okay. Hello. How are you doing today, Greeny? What happened? Oh, there they are. Uh. Hello? Oh, fine. You just go and deal with him yourself then. Oh, God. Well, I guess I'm not looting that. <laughs> I have to admit, I do appreciate that they give you the map from the get-go. That's true. Slowly waking up, I know the feeling. I've actually been awake longer than usual. I had to get up a little early today. Which means I didn't actually get quite enough sleep. But I feel pretty okay, despite that. Uh, Speaking of maps... Okay, so that looks like there's three levels here. Let's explore, shall we? Oh, actually. I wanted to see something. Yeah. <laughs> We'll find out if that's any good. Probably not against white choo-choos. Oh. What? Who might you be? Yeah, okay. We'll deal with you in time, sir. Oh, can you actually zap him? Go right ahead and kill him. I'm okay with this. Oh, you can. That means I probably can too, actually. You'd be fine there. It looks cool, but won't affect you. Okay. Did you see the message I posted in your Discord earlier? You probably want to be going more down, but sometimes you got to go... Oop. Sometimes you got to go up to go down. Oh, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You know what? I'm going to ditch this. Much as I like it, and I'm just going to make a new one using a long stick instead. Ow. Like I said, sometimes you gotta go up to go down. Okay. 
no other entrances here? No, okay. Zonite shield. Oh, I gotta remember I still have that stone slab shield, which was really, really useful. Uh, looks like no other exits here either. Unless... Nope, nothing. Oh, that's interesting. I can melt fused weapons? That's... I'm not sure whether that's cool or unfortunate. I'd say that's warm, not cool. That's what I say. Back. Damn it. Oh. Probably better have good stamina. I think we go back to ascending here. If possible. Back. Maybe we go laterally instead of up. Now, who's trapped in this ice? There's obviously going to be something. Or not. Oh, I'll take it. Very nice. I don't know if there would be anything worth going all that way up there for. Hmm. 
Not today, sir. Well, I guess we could try to get in here the same way we got in the other side. That? <laughs> I, mm, no, well, okay. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for. Maybe we have to drop down again. Oh, hang on. I didn't even notice that. Hey, look at that. Uh -huh. Is this for one of the locks? It's kind of shaped like a windmill. see any way to activate it here. else here to fight? Flame emitter spear. Oh, I don't really want to lose that. They are not very willing to just let you go in things. But I think this might let us get in higher up. Let's see if this is still... No. Damn it. Okay. Maybe if I go as far back into the corner as possible. Yeah. 
Nope. <laughs> oh well. It was worth a try. I guess we could explore further up on the boat. We've only really looked at the back. There's still this stuff up here. Soldier 2 Spear. Okay, I've already got one of those. No open up mechanisms. That looks like another windmill. More like a turbine, I guess. Probably not what I wanted, but we'll deal with that when we get to it, if we can figure out a way to get to it. Oh. Also, I'd just like to know, who built a ship out of stone? Seems like a very unusual construction. Ooh, let's not jump down there. I do want to jump down here, though. Wind Temple B1. Can't get in here. Holy crap. Two minute warning, guys. Two minutes until we have ads. Let's take a look at the other side here. That's fun. shooting at, sir. Get him. Yeah. 
Oh, there's another cannon up there. Oh. Oh. Where did you come from? How have I not seen you yet? patrolling around up here that I need to know about. I'm a little disturbed that he was here and I didn't know. Okay. Alright, guys. I need to take a quick break, so if you will bear with me, if you need to get up yourselves and uh, get some food or a drink or a snack, this is a really good opportunity to do it. I will meet you back here in just a few minutes. My breaks are typically about three and a half to five minutes long. There we go. That was so much okay. better. Now how to get out of here? I'm a little suspicious now. Uh, I quick saved, right? So. Yeah. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death, yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now, do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredibly happy. 25% of it units destroyed, so that means there's only four. Whatever is launching those LRMs is the last. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> it's too bad they don't have tractor beams. Whoa! No! No, 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 no! What on earth is it doing? Oh, let me guess what that's gonna be. Oh. Hey, I was wrong. Okay, he was definitely no behemoth. Huh, 
meat. There's a lot of wolves. I'm getting pretty low on oxygen. How did... I would really love to know how that did not kill them. Alright guys, I am back. Just let me get back into the game. Here we go. Alright, now I wonder if it's possible we do have to drop Dan back here. I don't see any way in. Just spot something Gun is clearly not the key. I wonder if this maybe is. Get him. can do it. Whichever. Ah. Watch out, little guy. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, I recognize this, Grainy. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure that I do. This is not the same one that you found, is it? Why did the Necromancer start a bakery? Uh, you got me. Why did the Necromancer start a bakery? He wanted to raise some dough. So this is the level of the deck. This is another turbine. Ooh, a chest. Soldier blade. Uh, 
I, I don't know if I was, Greeny. I know I saw you have to descend through a pit of lasers, but it was a much more dense and moving pit of lasers than that. So I don't think it was the same one. How's it going, Jarek? It's good to see you. Took on your first Gleox last night. I don't even know what those are. Okay, once again, we seem to have been foiled. This does not look like it takes us where I was hoping it was going to take us. And that just takes us outside. At least now I know that that is not where we're trying to get into, because now we've done that. Thunder, Frost, Flame, and King. King has all three types. You took on a king. Oh, the three-headed dragons. Okay, I've seen one of those. I thought it was a Hydra, but I've seen one. These look like they should be reactive. Is there something in the log that I need? You tried using the terminal, but the deck's hatch did not open. The mysterious voice then spoke to you again, saying the hatch will remain shut until all five locks are unlocked. Find the five locks the voice spoke of to save Rito Village from the never-ending blizzard and to get a lead on Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Having a nice meat pie. I forgot my juice in the kitchen, though, so we'll see how long my stubborn rear end sits around for. Nice. some other way inside. It's not there. Oh, maybe there. Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Just a second. Need 
something a little more powerful, I think. I've got that, but I really don't want to waste it. I guess I'll try this. Ooh, nice. Zonite sword, Zonite shield. Sure, I was being clever here. Damn it. Oh, that's annoying. That's going to take all the way back to the top deck, isn't it? Okay, so we've got an extra bow around if we need it. They're being very, very, very cagey about their hints as to how you're supposed to get anywhere or do anything. I'm not a fan, I gotta say. I hope the other temples are not as annoying as this one is. that open for all the good that does me. Oh, right. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't actually matter that much if that melts. It's already open. I think it was this room that I just opened up. It's hard to see in there at an angle, so it's hard to be sure.
Check over here. Probably been here before. Or... Oh. Maybe not. This is the room I just opened. Why do I think I've already been here, though? Did that reset on me and I just succeeded in opening the same room over again? I think so. Okay, there's got to be something a little more obvious that I'm missing. I've come across these in hidden locations. There's got to be something I can do. But I can't move them. There's nothing obvious that you need to attach to them. I was kind of thinking you had to get under them somehow so that maybe you could reconnect a gear system that would make them work, but I can't get below decks. This is a wind temple, so it's got to have something to do with wind, I would think. Maybe... Okay, so it's nothing as simple as that. Huh? 
Oh. That's... That's not good. Okay. Be a little bit careful there, then. Got it. This one looks suspiciously open. I think we found it, guys. Uh-oh. Ow. Oh crap! Oh, that's... Ugh! That's so evil! What the hell? I just got dumped out of the Stormwind Arc, so it's going great. How are you doing, Aranar? <laughs> Touch the... That's how I got dumped out of the Arc. Thank you for the shout out, Aranar. Yes, everybody should be following Greeny Trini. He's an awesome guy, awesome streamer, awesome friend of the channel. If you are not following, you are missing out. Okay, that leads down to where we were before. We can open that up. <laughs> Oddly enough, it doesn't look like we can open this up. What the heck? That's weird.
I got woken to deal with our coop needing work to get the door working again. That's your day so far? Oof, I'm sorry to hear that. What's this going to be? Monster? Treasure? Tool? Weapon? Tools. Very nice. Portable pot and time bomb. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we have another one open, and that looks very much like that's a chest out there. Might have to make my way over to that. Yeah, so it turns out I've actually seen a Gliok. Which is fun. Now, I saw it at a great distance. Let me see if I can pinpoint it. Where? Oh, uh, actually, I can't right now. Looks like. Oh, no. I can go to the world map. Okay. If we go to the world map. There's one in. I think it's. Yeah, there's like a... Is it here? It can't be the account. No, it's it's got to be somewhere in this area. The Parade Ground Ruins, I think it is. There's a Gleok somewhere around here-ish. I thought it was a Hydra. There were two Gleoks last night, but the Flame Gleok was remarkably easy after you fought the king. That does not shock me, oddly enough. Aww. I like that halberd. I oh, will. That looks like maybe a thing. Interesting. Okay, so that opened that door. Gradually making some progress. Who, what, where, what, why? Okay, so he heard me. I will 
I'll take that. Ow. Oh, and now we're in this room. I remember this room. I don't think this gets us anywhere because I still haven't figured out what to do with these things yet, but we're here. We can get here. I've killed plenty of Gleox before. You can do it. Just dodge all the fireballs as the heads fly around and try to murder you. Okay, so easy then. Not a problem. Oh, I have another Fire Breath Lizalfo's horn. And ice. <laughs> no. You know, I gotta say, I'm really not a fan of the Wind Temple so far. It's very irritating. Okay, let's keep poking around. So I think we got all there is to get over that way. Or did I? Yeah, okay, there's no doorway there. There is this. I don't think we've gotten behind here yet. Oh, actually, yes, we have. That's that same central chasm that I believe has got lasers somewhere up there that we can't see. And then there's down there with the door that we can't yet open. I've been watching all these maps you're working through, and all I'm thinking is that Hyrule is in desperate need of OSHA. Yeah, it's like most video game worlds, honestly. One day, video game characters are going to have to come together and work in unison to organize workers' rights.
Oh, explosive barrels, huh? Oh, 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 okay. There's a whole other area I can access here. Why did I not think of this? I think I might have killed a few things in this. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Okay, now I'm confused. Again. What happened to that little thing that I had to fan open after attaching a thing I could fan with? I thought that was over in this direction. I don't think I've been in this part yet. <sighs> All right. Let's see if we can explore the other side. Actually, I think I remember where it was. We had to go up and then go over. Come on, guy. Nope. So this just takes us in here, where we've already been. Oh, let's go back. taken that or opened that, but I wasn't able to take the thing. Now I've got the thing. Ugh, okay. I think I've been here.
All the ice makes me think you're gonna have some ice cream. It is the season for it, isn't it? Okay, so that's open. We can get up. Okay, so that's open. But see, it just keeps giving me these things, and I... Maybe I need to accept a hint on this or something, but... I have no idea what to do with any of these. I think at this point I've now accessed and gotten, you know, found all of them. And that does me zero good. It is a wind turbine, that is correct, Greeny. I'm... You know, I... I that was not lost on me. But I haven't found any way to actually make it go. I've tried this. I've tried What's-His-Face's ability. I probably didn't aim it correctly. There we go. Aiming is a thing. Yeah, okay. Well, that simplifies matters. Thank you. about this one, though. I guess I could do this. Ow! <laughs> nice.
Okay. Three more to go. We can do it. And that opens the door too. That's convenient. All right. Oh, what are you doing here? I thought I already murdered you. Ah. Rude, sir. Thank you. Two more, and I know one of them's at the very bottom. Three down, two to go. We're almost done, Link. Where did you come from? Have to wait for a moment. We only have one left. Now I have to remember where that one is. Although it'll have a little marker thing, so it shouldn't be too bad, I wouldn't think. Oh, wait, was it down this? Did I get to there? Where was it? Yeah, okay, so it's accessible by that main shaft there. Okay, that's easy enough. Leave it to me. 
Watch yourself there, buddy. Whoa. There we go. Don't tell me that, Granny. Oh my god. Unaimed directly up through the lasers. Somehow managed to not hit them all. Tulin is the Anakin to Link's Obi-Wan? Yeah, I suppose that's true. It's going, Sketchy. How are you doing? It's good to see you. Oh. Three minute warning on ads, guys. We're probably going to have to interrupt whatever is about to happen. I'm sure it's not going to be a boss battle, though, so it's fine. Uh, I don't think you had made it when I visited your Discord. Either that or I didn't check the announcements channel. I'll have to check, up since I have to take a break in a minute anyway. Oh look, a boss. Colgera. It sounds like a toothpaste. No promises. Even a door. Oh, okay, hang on. If only there were an obvious weak point that I could actually hit. Okay, guys, we're going to have to continue this in a minute. Looks like my bow shattered, and so I'm having trouble firing. Uh, I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes, and then we'll see if we can brush this toothpaste off the world. So if you need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll be back in just a few. Oh, you made 1K? Congratulations, Greeny. That's amazing. That's so awesome. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a few. Ah, that's not the time to detect a trap, sir. And the fire shows uh, me something new. Damn it. What's the point of putting stuff around if I can't blow it up? See, that's much better. 
that stuff serves a useful purpose. <sighs> Trying to deprive me of my... Oh! Oh, damn it, Serana! My god. <laughs> okay. Oops. Open up. Stay off. Hello? Oh! Well, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> wow. Good job. Now I'm going to put a bit of a rush on this, which means we might not actually get to out. Uh, Wow. That's okay. That is a rite of passage every Valheim player must go through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch the magic. Why does it do tricks? Oh my god. Holy crap, guys. The 30th anniversary edition. Oh my god. I used to play this game, the this edition of the game. I still have my book back there. Look at this. Can you This is unbelievable. They look at you expectantly. Note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. Gotcha. First try. You fought well. But we're finished. Something's moving something around pretty good. Here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Thank you, Sketchy. Sure we can do it. So what's everyone got going on here? Um, we need to gain some altitude. I need to select a new weapon. This seems like a good time to bring out... Maybe this one. Where'd you go? Oh, you're all the way down there, huh? Here it comes.
Oh, okay, so it's only one shot per thingy. Fuck! Oh! Rude! How dare you! Nope. Screwed up. It's so hard to judge distance. Oh, no, stop that. Oh, did I? Did it do it? Did it? Yes. Okay, maybe not so bad after all. Thank you, Aranar. Gotcha. Cheater! We have to stay clear of those tornadoes. Be careful. Thanks for telling me that. I would never have guessed. Thank you. This is such helpful and non-obvious advice. Incoming. What? Did that not do it? Oh, that certainly didn't. Damn it. There we go. Nice one. Ultra! <laughs> How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Yeah, we finally made it. Ugh. How are you feeling today? I hope you're doing better. It's so good to see you. And everybody should be following Ultra, but I'm sure everybody that's hanging out in my channel already is. You're a bit better? Oh, I'm really glad to hear that. Oh, I should probably heal myself, too. Um, that'll do. Even if you did not hit the actual follow button, Aaron, Laura, you keep up to date and visit her streams. So there you go. That's close enough. I Two of my deaths from this boss were legit from forgetting to glide up and smacking the ground, oh no. Ugh. Nope. Never gonna hit this, but let's try it anyway. All right, guy. Go shooty shooty. Here they come again. What's the worst that could happen? Wait a 
Whoa. Rude. I just healed. Duck. Yeah. I'm gonna need more bomb flowers after this. Not bad. Thank you. Oh, I could definitely use that too. Oh, interesting. What's this? Nice. Uh, that probably didn't help you out there in Ultra. I can't imagine that made it a lot easier. Tulin, my brave fledgling. I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, was summoned by the Demon King. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish. This is cool so far. I like it. Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors. To help in the fight, Rauru entrusted us with amazing artifacts, secret stones, objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Rauru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, 
King Raru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning war. Greeny, you're not suggesting that the Ultra might be impatient, are you? Climactic battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the six sages, the Sage of Time. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito will play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. No problem, Sketchy. Have a good day. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate it. The imprisoning war and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. I love that Zelda became the Sage of Time. That's really so cool. my mission to fight the Demon King with you? Link, well, not now that they're known. So, so amazing. But I mean, I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission, and it involves fighting alongside you to save the world. If we don't do anything, then the world is going to be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this. I'll happily take the secret stone. I could never picture Zelda as a sage repeatedly. <laughs> And not why you would think. Okay, well, we will find out. Thank you, Greeny. I gotta say, though, the stones remained secret for countless eons. That seems pretty secret to me. Ghosticus, how's it going? It's good to see you. <laughs> we have a little bit of a mod wall going on today. <laughs> I 
Anyone who breaks it will be banned. <laughs> It's summer break, so you have free time. That's awesome. How have you been? It's been a long time, oh. Ghost of Ghost. You guys, you did it. <laughs> really been enjoying working the school schedule. You're a security guard and run cameras at your old high school. That's awesome, Ghost of Ghost. Congratulations. Yeah, it turns out it was easy once we started working together. Mm. Hmm. This was no small feat. <sighs> I still can't believe the Stormwind arc from the children's song was real. <laughs> Me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Hmm. For a job well done, Tulin. Huh. Wait, what? This bow meant so much to you and now you're giving it to me? Hmm. It was always my intention to, to give it to you once you came of age as a warrior. Dad. Thank you. I'll prove to you that I've become a worthy warrior worthy of carrying it. Hmm. Hey, Link. That woman in the vision my ancestor showed us, didn't she look just like Princess Zelda to you? Hmm. Do you think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like a long, long time ago. There's still a bunch of unanswered questions. Uh -huh. I gotta know more about the figure we saw in the Stormwind Dark, so I'm gonna go look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? Mm. And remember, with my sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. <laughs> Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Proof of the Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Tulin. Tulin of Dorito Village, complete. <sighs> okay. First temple down, not bad. You can activate and deactivate the Sage's Vows on the key items menu. So I don't have to have the little ghostly figure following me around everywhere. That's pretty good, too. I don't necessarily mind having them around, but it's good to have options. Okay, I kind of want to climb up there. We did it in Breath of the Wild. It should be a little bit easier this time around. Come on. You're kidding, right? There's got to be a way. Rude. You've nearly got eight full batteries for Zonai devices? Damn, Greeny. The ghostly figure shoots enemies. And you can use the special ability, too. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen people do that. Ah. Oh. I could just do that, I guess.
Oh. Recover stamina. There we go. The Dragon Roost Island music? Yeah. It's It sounds familiar. I think they used it in Breath of the Wild as well. I don't know what it originally came from. Wind Waker. Oh, maybe that's why it's familiar then. Oh, damn it. Ugh, never mind. We'll do this another time. I was so close. Oh, where do we want to go? We want to go this way. Rito first appeared in Wind Waker. Really? They. I really hope they bring Wind Waker to the Switch. I would like to play and actually finish that one more than any of the other classic games. We must rebuild the bridge. Now that the blizzard has passed, I'd like to repair the bridge so that supplies can arrive in the village. Sadly, we're not equipped for a major rebuilding project. But I've heard there are Hillians who are skilled in construction. Say, you're a Hillian. Do you know anyone who can help? Mm. Hmm. Sounds like you need a good carpenter. I know. What about that guy at Lookout Landing? Uh -huh. If he could build an incredible structure like that, I bet he'll have no problem build fixing up your bridge. His name was... Oh, shoot. I don't remember. But it ended in sun. <laughs> okay, so we have another one of these to do. Fantastic. Yes, he sounds up to the task. However, I can't leave the village right now, what with my defense duties. We'll have to dispatch an emissary to look out landing in my place. Mm. But who to send? Everyone's so busy. Mm -hmm. I bet the carpenter at Lookout Landing will be able to restore this bridge. His name was, um... All I can remember for sure is that it ends in sun. Ah. Okay, it's probably the guy that was traveling around with What's-His-Face in Breath of the Wild. The one who's currently looking at building a stable in Lookout Landing. Okay, so what kind of building materials do we have available here? Not a lot. I think we're gonna travel back to our favorite stable. I will rebuild a version of my car, and then we'll go to Lookout Landing, the fun way. Tulin's vow has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Okay. Come along. Nope. Probably have to go with this one. It's a shame it has no roof, but I guess I could add that now if I wanted to.
Who's this up ahead? Capnays, enjoy your lurk. It's good to see you. Welcome on in. Sorry, not sorry. I love that you can use vehicles in this game so much. Oh, this also means now that I've got these uh, the, the clothes that I needed to survive the blizzard storm, we should have no problem whatsoever finally going and doing that one tower that I've been trying to do forever. It's great, Ultra. I love it. It's so much fun. And it's fairly fuel efficient, too, or energy efficient, I guess. It's an electric vehicle, of course. We like to be environmentally conscious in our Zelda games. Okay, I'm gonna let it recharge now. Are cars for Ultra like boats for me? Uh, I don't know. Do you make a habit out of crashing cars, Ultra? I mean, trucks, I've certainly seen you crash a truck or two in your day. All vehicles, excellent. Gatepost Town Ruins. Maybe where we're headed. Ooh. The dragon seems closer than usual. Oh, no, that tower is not where we're headed. We need to be going north. I actually found an Addison sign that gave you trouble. Interesting, Greeny. Oh, you had to... I, I think I know exactly which one that is. I did it on Tuesday, if I remember correctly. Roadkill. I didn't use boulders, though. I used one of the fallen sky stones, and it fit perfectly. It was actually pretty easy. At least once I realized that that was what I was going to have to use anyway. Oh, hello. You're in luck, Korok. I have my car handy. Ah, oh, my friend and I got separated. Oh, just back there by the shrine. Okay. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Oh, whoops. Nope. <laughs> that poor bird. <laughs> That was that or an arrow. I'm not sure which is faster, honestly. Probably the arrow. But it's all over now.
Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. I guess I've really got to expand some of my inventory again. I'm starting to get a pretty decent collection of seeds. Okay, which way are we going? I guess we can go either way, but this way looks a little better. But I think we'll do some off-roading. We won't just stick directly to the road. Oh, traveler in trouble. Yes, you are. Ah. You never let your guard down, even around weak enemies. I can tell you're an adept fighter. <laughs> it was destiny that brought us together here, and destiny that I give you this as thanks. Don't fight fate now. I'll take it. Thank you. Ah. I'm still traveling the world in search of Miss Go's treasure. Ah. The rumors say there's a piece hidden in a cave around here. Mm. But I couldn't find it, so I think I'll head to my next destination. That's not to say I don't have time to chat if you're so inclined. Ah. Let's see, why don't we talk about those CC-clad fashion enthusiasts? You must have seen them on the road. The folks wearing those adorable mushroom-themed outfits? Ah. Those outfits are high-end CC brand fashion straight from Hot No Village in Nekluda. I guarantee you that anyone dressed like that is after Misko's treasure. Mm. To them, Misko's treasures represent the peak of fashion. And that has them searching high and low for any pieces they can find. They're so excited about the whole thing that they're always telling me the latest rumors about caves and treasures. So if you see someone dressed like that during your travels, you should strike up a conversation. Ah. Thank you for keeping me company. That was a fun chat. See you around. I'm not headed to any temple, Cinder. We just finished the Wind Temple. It'll probably be a few weeks before I attempt the next one. I mean, actually, that's probably not true, but I'm not in any rush. I have no idea when I'll go after the next one. But I like to do a lot of the shrines and the si side missions and all that fun stuff. I'm starting to accumulate a little collection of games that I can do between now and August when... Baldur's Gate 3 releases because right now this is the only major game release that I'm interested in until Baldur's Gate 3 comes out but I've got little things actually I should probably mention to you guys we're going to be doing um, another Lego build Where are we? there we go so as promised we're going to be doing a build of BD1 from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor because we played so much Survivor uh, while we were doing the fundraising for St. Jude this year and we met our goal and on top of that uh, let me take a look where was it I got an interesting game key from Keymailer last night it's a game called Joe Wander and the Enigmatic Adventures which is a very side scrolly 3D sort of puzzly traversal game in the style of Indiana Jones, which looks really, really fun. So we're going to play that at some point, too. You'll like that game? Yeah, it looked really good. Uh, I've, I've seen a trailer. It came up in 
one of those things that I spam Discord with all the trailers. I noted that one specifically, and then I noticed that I'd also been offered a key on Keymailer for it, so I grabbed that on PlayStation 5. It looks like it's going to be really, really fun. So I don't know exactly when we're going to do that. We might do it maybe Friday or Saturday. I'm thinking we'll probably schedule an hour or two to play that one, because I don't know if I could sustain for an entire stream. But... I will also keep open the possibility... Oh, shoot. Is it that time again? Okay. Looks like it's Blood Moon time. But, uh, you know, if I'm having a really good time with it, and I suspect that maybe I will, who knows? Maybe we'll go and do the full six hours. Or actually, today's Friday, so we might start playing that a little bit tomorrow. Or possibly Tuesday. I'm not sure. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Okay, we're not far from Lookout Landing now. Oh, who are these guys? They don't look like the usual mon monsters mounted on horseback. What's going on? Hi. Link, hello. The last time we met was at Ca Hyrule Castle, if I remember right. Hmm. I'm Hawes, Captain of Squad 1 of the Monster Control Crew. After our search for Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle, I returned to my monster fighting duties. At the moment, we're closing in on a monster stronghold up ahead. Once we approach their base, we'll wait for the right opportunity and then launch our attack. I apologize if I'm being presumptuous, but running into you here feels like fate. I must say, nothing would be more encouraging than to have you, Hyrule's best swordsman, assist us. If we work together, I'm sure we could bring peace back to this land. Bring peace to Hyrule Field. That sounds fun. We're not going to do it right now. But we're going to help them, eventually, one of these days. It is, Jilly. I love that. I really enjoyed the Blood Moon cutscene from Breath of the Wild, but I really, really love the one in this game. It's a lot better. Job, fake Tulin. I'm almost a little surprised not to find a golden apple. They're supposed to be rare, but I find them all over the place. It's a little weird. On the subject of Misko's hidden fashion items, stumbled onto a portion of a set that significantly made the Fire Temple easier. Looked great too? Nice, Cinder. I don't know anything about the Fire Temple yet, aside from the fact that a Fire Temple exists. So, careful what you say, please. But, uh, you know, that's not in response to you having spoiled anything, certainly. I would just like to actually keep it that way. Carson, when do you think the stable will be ready? Ah. It'll be a while yet. 
I need to get the last of the roof planks correctly fitted. There's only one spot to finish. Huh. Well, until the stable is ready, we can't board any more horses. What a shame. The incomplete stable. Well, look at that. It fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time figuring out how to fit it. Really, Carson? Okay. With the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking. Sun and done. That's the one. Head and pants with flame breaker chest. Night. Nice. Quick and quality blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes. Feeling pumped. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. <laughs> How's that? Well, well, this is a fine looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised, considering your Hudson Construction's number one. And thanks for your help with this little project, son. Looks great. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please talk to me anytime. Ah. Pretty stellar craftsmanship, am I right? I gotta say, I've outdone myself this time. If you end up boarding your horses here, they'll have a luxurious time. All right, work at Lookout Landing is nearly wrapped up, which also means I'm out of work. You wouldn't know anybody who needs a carpenter, would you? The Rideau's Bridge. Ah. They need someone to rebuild their bridge, huh? Sounds easy enough. I heard it fell apart when that blizzard, blizzard stuck Dorito Village. But if they're looking to have it fixed, that strange weather must have died down, eh? Ah. Well then, no time to gab. I'll have that bridge looking good as new in less than no time. Son and done. Nice. Oh, and I didn't even lose my car. That's beautiful. And Gord never talked to that old man ever again? No, probably not. Didn't even get the Ember Pants the proper way, just wanted the chests with rupees in them. Nice. Hmm? Don't tell me, based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm... You must be Link, am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I'm Wurtsworth. My research specialty is ancient Irulian. Oh. And by ancient Irulian, I don't mean the text found in the Ring Ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Traces of it are still present in our speech today. You see the difference, I trust. Mm. The stone tablet that fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Hyrulean. If I can manage to translate the text, it may be key to understanding a moment in time from ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. Hmm? If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko Village so I can share what I've translated so far. Ah. This inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to the distant past. I aim to unravel its mysteries, and the sooner I get started, the better. <sighs> I am a sucker for archaeology in my games. Ancient Irulian is spoken like Gaelic English. That's okay. Uh, what did we want to do next? Actually, I guess that was what we wanted to do next. We were just coming back to get Carson to rebuild the bridge, weren't we?
What kind of stuff have I got? Okay, I do have a little bit of zonite, but not huge amounts. I don't have nearly enough of these. I guess we should go do that tower I wanted to do. Nope. Back up. Lies, sir. They are evil. Gaelic is a language. Nobody is Gaelic. Nothing interesting there. Oh, I read something interesting about Dazzlefruit, actually, just earlier today before I started stream. Apparently, if you... If you fuse Dazzle Fruit onto a melee weapon, you can just absolutely obliterate skeletons. It will destroy them instantly. Mostly Scottish and Cherokee. Interesting, Greenie. Would have found that extremely interesting if a language barrier had been temporarily implemented in-game for the geoglyph memories. I... I could see that being interesting, depending on how it was implemented, but there's also a risk that it could just end up being annoying. It makes sense that they are in modern Hyrulean, yeah. That's everything's catch? Well, yes, but the risk is greater with some things than it is with others, I think. How are you doing, Guardian? It's good to see you. So far, so good? Excellent. Glad to hear it. see if we can get over to the... Oh, rats. There's another river in between us and... Uh, you know what? I want to see if I can make this work. make this car floatable. Uh, I'm not certain this is actually going to work after all, though. I don't know if there's enough room between my wheels. Oh, yeah, okay, it does barely fit.
Three minute warning on ads, by the way, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough control in the water of the sea. Well, it's floating, that's a plus. Yeah, I'm not getting very far. Cracked a huge plot twist in the game right at the end of the Sky Island tutorial, saying nothing about it in case you yourself never caught it, but boy was I shocked. I don't know what you're talking about, so I don't know whether I caught it or not. Uh, uh oh. Oh, it just, okay, I thought it disappeared. It just floated down river. I might still be able to catch it. Oh, what is this? Wait a minute. Floret Sandbar. I remember her, I think. Okay, guys, before we get into this conversation, we do have ads starting very shortly. The fourth noodle? I don't know, Jilly. Uh, I will be back in a few minutes. This will probably be my longest break of the stream because I do have to go and make myself some tea now. So I might be closer to seven or eight minutes or so, but uh, I will be back shortly and then we'll carry on with this. So I'll meet you back here in just a few. Oh. Okay, be back shortly. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry, bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. So once she's regained her ability to take action, I'm going to bring her back and she can deliver the stuff that she's collected to us. <laughs> Die. Thank you. Holy sh... There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. That is one huge door. Looks like Terry Town. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 gimme. Okay. Let's take out the mind flare. I'll help however I can. Moira's mo back. What? <laughs> wow. These guys have been doing strength training with the uh, compies, I see. Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're finished. What? 
What's happening? Oh, that's so creepy. I've... I've done it. And it looks like... they know. Well... Let's not hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. So we're on the Barbary Coast, apparently. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? <laughs> what is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> Oh, we're continuing the tradition of Star Wars characters losing hands, then. What do you think something? Guess it's all clear. Hey. Oh, hey. Damn it. I order the yard. Stop right there. Wow. Looks like it might actually get you up to the elevation you need to get up onto that platform up there. Ah, you move too much. I'm hardly moving at all, silly. How's that? Nice and still for you now? Oh, what's this giant thing? I realize that doesn't really narrow it down any. Oh. What's that giant thing? Thank you so much for playing, but you've doomed the whole human race. Yep. Yep. These games, they, they will mock you viciously for failure. A huge, green, fierce dragon bars the way. Large be gold nuggets. The dragon doesn't seem to be interested in that. What kind of dragon are you? What? You had a free pass right into their base. Whoa! <laughs> I just want to go home and read. I know the feeling. Holy crap. That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. I love the really close-up view. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. USS Vesta, first of the class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one. But here's our ship. <laughs> Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. 
I haven't even set the fire yet. Well, if they're up to it, I might as well join in. It's a little casual arson between friends. <laughs> nice. Oh. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah. Rude. Really? Look at these two. Oh my god, they look so good together. Um... This room is in lockdown, but don't worry. I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. That's an excellent idea. When you desperately need all troops available at your side, be sure to lock them in their rooms and force them to use an override that they may not know. Okay, I am back. I was trying to be ambiguous so it wouldn't be obvious what I was talking about when asking. Excellent. Thank you, Erinar. What is it? I'm busy tending this flower bed. All around us is the best garden in Hyrule. Have some respect and try not to disturb the plants too much. Headphone cord. Don't mind me. Okay. Huh? Oh, are you a flower expert now? Sure, it got a little messed up by the upheaval. But this is genuinely the best garden in Hyrule. Uh. Sorry, I have a bit of a chip on my shoulder. I shouldn't let my temp temper get the best of me. Anyway, I'll get back to get it back to tip-top shape soon. So until then, just look at it and imagine how it'll be when it's once again the best garden in Hyrule. Oh, ouch, that hurts. What are you doing? Oh, right. Don't step on the flowers. That's what the flowers you ruined would be screaming if they could scream. Uh. So listen to them and don't do such awful things. <laughs> looks like it. It looks like it, Cinder. Okay, my car is still there, right? I should rescue that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we told you already, that hurts. What would we do if our petals got torn off? We are beautiful living things who never hurt anybody in this world. What kind of thoughtless monster would stomp all over us? Uh, so it's uh, basically Mr. Resetti. The more you do it, the longer and longer and longer it gets. Let's avoid that. Oh no, I think my car's gone. Damn it. She ruined it. She resetted your car. She did. How dare she? Mighty Thistle.
Medicinal plant grows abundantly in the Gerudo Desert. Its peculiar fibers conduct electricity, which will increase your electricity resistance when cooked into a dish. Because that's how that works. Wait a minute. Is that a Korok? Huh. Blank has the magic that actually makes homeopathy work, yes. <laughs> Crap, my album is full. Oh, I can't do that one. Okay, this guy's going to be useful. I like that. What's up, sir? Hey. Hello there, sir. Say, you look like you've been to a lot of different places. But have you ever traveled to the Gerudo region in southwest Hyrule? As a matter of fact, I have. The desert is a merciless place. The days are scorching hot and the nights are wretchedly cold. Aww. But here's a trick to make it bearable. Choo-choo jelly. Even the name is charming. When it's hot, break it open and soak it in the water. When it's cold, the jelly is as good as coals. What a miraculous substance. There's no excuse not to carry it, and if a merchant happened to have it on hand, well... Ah. Um, I will take all of them, please. No, I'm good. Oh. I missed my car. We can probably check out that Sky Island, though. I actually think we've already checked out that Sky Island now that I look at it more carefully and get mercilessly attacked by that garbage stuff. Yes, you deal with it. I don't want to. Ow. The hell is this? An unusual substance, it's cold to the touch and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Interesting. Ah. 
Ow. Okay. Okay, so that's got to be Kakariko Village over that way. Where are we going? We want... Jailbreak. Was that the one? I think that might be close to the tower. Maybe. Possibly. Well, it's... yeah, that's not too far off. That'll do. We can deal with the cold without having to eat every couple minutes, so that's a good thing. How? What? How? But I just hit you three frickin' times. How are you not dead? Wolves in this area are very rude. Snow wolves are extremely stubborn? Yeah, I guess so. How are you doing, by the way, Jilly? I hope all is well with you. It's really good to see you. that we can reverse time on. I was hoping to get a bit of a boost so I could hang glide. That's not what I was hoping for. Ah, no, no, duck. Ah.
Oh god. No! What the hell? Did that thing just accidentally help me? Ugh. Uh, what, what, uh, what am I looking for? That's not what I'm looking for, but hang on. No, this. Oh man, I only have three left. What? What? Um... Stop it. Can't say I expected that one. Thank you, Eridor. Uh, okay, so we're back here. I think we're gonna maybe cross over a little to the west before we go up and north again towards the tower. Let's maybe avoid the grippy hands of doom. Who knew we were going to end up fighting Ganon as well in this game? Or, you know, at least a phantom version thereof. I'm not sure how much I love it. <laughs> I don't really blame you, though. Okay, are we far enough away from the Icy Hands of Doom? Because they were kind of somewhere up here, weren't they? Hope they're more up there. Mild panic attack and ran as fast as you could? Yeah. I've retreated a few times. Dragon farming. I didn't know that was a thing. 
But I guess anything farming can be a thing. How could I forget? Mount Lenaru Skyview Tower. I was hoping to open both, but okay. I see meat. of good frozen provisions. Yeah, I've heard that, Jilly. I haven't tried it. But then I don't really enjoy the shield sledding. I know there are a lot of people who think it's the best thing in the Zelda, more recent Zelda games. Not a huge fan. The actual sledding part is cool. I like it. But I don't like the controls necessary to start doing it. I find it incredibly awkward and difficult. Link established. Sky map updated. Okay, so there's some, um, there's a little bit of Sky Island stuff up here. And I can't help but notice that little star over by the sort of the lower right corner coast area. Okay, is there a sky island we can get to right nearby? there's that one. on this. Oh. This is a variation on your hover bike, Greeny. 
probably a much more power-hungry version. Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect it to fall faster than I did. Oh well. Let's see where it goes. Gotcha. Okay, I think we officially lost the bike. Or, you know, I, I guess that would almost be a quadcopter. Yeah, no idea where that went. Okay. to do the work thing. Have fun, Greeny. Have a good day. Hopefully catch you again soon. Not today, Wolf. Not today. gonna drop down here just add a little to our depths map under dark map <gasps> Nadra snowfield chasm oh boy that looks like a thing I've got lots of light. Oh. Oh. I landed right on the pedestal with it? Yikes. Wow, that is such a cheat. That should only have used one seed. I mean, granted, they land pretty close to the same location, but even so, the bows that do multiple arrows with only one ammo use, that's pretty nice. Especially if you can place them in such a way that maybe one of them has to fall a lot further than the other. And so you get some decent separation between them. That'd be awesome.
Oh, interesting. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay, I, for whatever reason, I thought we were going to be closer to that one up there, but I guess that is all the way up in Akala. Gonna head back over this way towards this guy again, actually. I want to make sure I get him marked on the map for future battle purposes. No more bombs here. Oh, and I'm very interested in checking one thing out. I told you about the Dazzle Fruit thing I read about. I wouldn't mind seeing that in action. Maybe we will come across a skeleton. So I need some place relatively flat to drop that down. Oh, we can do a little mining here too. Excellent. I could use more of that crap. Let's put that there where it won't hopefully roll away. Maybe not a zonite powered thing. do that. Oh, what? Oh, so it has. Oh, I don't have anything that hasn't already been fused. Crap. Oh, well. I guess we'll have to do that later. Try to stick very close to the edge here so as not to aggro him. And this is really close by. Nice. Much better. The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay, where did I... Oh, my pin is a little bit off. I'll put that right about there. Thank you. 
Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna have to replace this eventually. I don't know where to get more Lionel Bows, though, is the only problem. Okay, so we've got rockets, we've got fans, we've got a balloon, we've got a thing. We've got time bombs. And we've got a wing. And we have stone slabs. Oh, what might that be? Oh, we have Yiga Clan. That's what that is. We should stamp this as well. Okay. Um, oh, did I? Oh, shoot. I already lost it, didn't I? I said that I was going to do some mining and get some more stuff, and then I promptly forgot about it and didn't do the thing. I'm going to see if I can find that. are so commonly found down here. Oh, actually, those are not fairies, are they? Not all of them are, anyway. Some of them might be. Now that I've got better light... Oh, it's a... Flux construct number two. that zonite. I know there was some around here. There it is. Have I... Wow. Have I managed to lose almost all of my breakers? Luckily, that seems to work. I had so many iron lump smashers, I guess I had to get rid of them. Okay, you know what? I think we're going to try and take this guy on since we're down here. I'm just going to take the precaution of saving first. Go. Gimme. I got your head. There you go. Get him. Crap. 
It's not gonna last the whole fight, is it? Ooh, damn it! Oh my god! Oh, he hits hard. Back here. Oh. Nope. Oh, you're too high up. That's cheating. No, you do not, sir. something small just so I have full health. Not sure if I have anything small enough. You know, defense up doesn't sound so terrible. Let's do that. Down here, such a cheater. Oh, 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 okay. Damn it, that broke too. Oh, nope, no, 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 we want this. I'm stealing that again. Gimme. God. Uh <sighs> you Right, where'd it go? Where is it? Where? Where? 
It's almost dead. Where did... Where? Well, oh, there, 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 there. Gotcha. <sighs> Mirror. A Zonai device that focuses and reflects light. It can provide powerful long-distance illumination that can ward off some monsters. Battery. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, now I'm going to have to do some customization on my weaponry here. What can I get rid of? I don't want to get rid of the axe. Soldier Construct 2 Horn. No, we don't want to get rid of that. We can get rid of this. There we go. Thank you very much. And that's our first level two construct downed. So nice. Very nice. Okay. I think we need to go elsewhere now. We found some more stuff in the Underdark. Oh, we still have this. What is this? Spot marked on an old map. Maybe we should actually just do a little bit more down here, but over in that area. I would not mind checking out that old map. So where was that? That's over here. So it's sort of just ahead. Three minute warning, by the way, folks. Oh, it looks like it's here. Daphnis Canyon Mine. Oh, it's a mine! Oh, look at this. How convenient. I wanted Zonite. I'm getting Zonite. Oh, that was it? Okay. How much do I have now? Oh! Oh! I got quite a bit. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty nice. I like that. I doubt that's all that's available here, but that's probably... Oh, look at that. That's definitely not all that's available here.
I think I'm going to have to use arrows for some of this. Oh, I guess I need another bow, too. Um. Definitely need a lot more arrows. Holy crap! So much! Alright guys, ads are going to be starting in just a few minutes, so if you will bear with me, I'm going to go take my break. I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes or so, so if you need to get up yourselves, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I will meet you back here very shortly. is over there. No! No, sir. No. No. <sighs> There's the other connector. Note that if Thatcher is looking for romance, she should look no further than her partner. It must be clear to everyone that Eden here is deeply in love with her. Thatcher bursts out laughing. Eden goes bright red. Get lost before I throw you in a cell for disrespecting a magic. Gen 4. What is this? She's ignoring it. <laughs> Blobaku reports that they found themselves briefly in some extra dimensional space. External viewports revealed that they were surrounded by countless ships of alien design suspended in a seemingly endless void. Before the crew could get their bearings, the vision abruptly faded and they found themselves back in regular space. However, roughly half the crew are missing. Science officer Abla Loblaku speculates that they may have been selectively trapped by some unknowable mechanism. How am I only now realizing that I can have three active characters? What the hell? Sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> oh boy. Um... A little bit of a bumpy road with dragon skeletons everywhere. No problem. Triple kill! Okay, I'm back. Let me just find the game again. There we go. Thank you, Aranar. Okay. I'm sure this seems like a lot of Zonite right now, because I've never had so much in the history of my playing this game. I also have no doubt that as soon as I start spawning vehicles... 
it's not gonna seem like nearly so much. Come on. There we go. Thank you, Ultra. Okay, so we're starting to get a little closer to the edge of the light out there. Miner's Top, a shirt featuring lamps of various sizes filled with bioluminescent material made to help with excavating dark environments. Oh, that's right. I forgot I'm still wearing the cold weather gear. Oh, look at that. I glow a lot brighter now. That's cool. That's very cool. Give me that. I confuse. Oh, that gives me something. I confuse. Now I can try the Dazzle Brute thing. Not that we're running into a whole lot of skeletons at the moment. <laughs> of course, we are close to the edge of the d light, aren't we? I do. Oh, what's this? We're not quite done after all. Of course, wearing all this minor gear with the glow effect, I might not actually run into skeletons at all. <laughs> okay, fun as it is to torment that guy. Um We'll go this way.
Okay, so we've got wheels here, we've got fans, we've got those things, we've got these things, we've got one of these things. And what is... Oh, okay, I think... Yeah, that would be... That would be the light route that we already did, is it not? Skellingtons. They're usually all over you. Okay, that's two light routes, but I think I see a third one. Off in the distance there. Oh crap, these guys. Get him. Ow. Thank you. Get him. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this guy is awesome. Holy Jesus. I almost don't have to fight anymore. <laughs> Oh crap. Oh, nope, nope. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, hello. <laughs> that might not have been the best option. Um, that was not what I, I wanted this. Right, don't accidentally whistle for a horse you don't own when there's a sleeping Henox nearby. glowing like a bonfire. There's no way he can possibly keep up with where I am. See? He's lost me. Is that a light route? That looks like a light route we've already done. Get him! Oh, that one might be a new one. Oh, but wait. I forgot we went right. We've basically done all the light routes in this area. I forgot. We're not in the news place. Okay. Never mind. Oh! Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we might be done down here for the time being. I don't want to deal with that guy. Not without a lot more bomb flowers. Oh, 
Oh no, what might that be? Oh, that's... Okay. I think we're going to head back up to the surface for a little while. We got a ton of crap. We got a ton of zonite, which is really good. We're going to go back... Where's Dorito Village? There we go. Let's check on how the bridge is coming along. And yeah, you did tell me, Aaron Lark. You did. I believe you. All right, where'd the stable and the bridge go? There they are. He's not finished yet? I am very disappointed. I expected better, Carson. It's worse than I thought. I'm sorry, Carson. I wish we had more building supplies for you to use. Now, Gassain, this is my fault, not yours. I was too rosy with my estimates. Ah, Link, it's about the bridge job. We've hit a bit of a snag. See, the thing's in worse shape than I accounted for. Carson here estimates they're short 20 pieces of wood. Is that right? Yep, we may be able to get what we need by chopping down trees. But that'll be a whole project in itself. Huh? It's wood! 20 pieces of it! Must have been a real pain in the neck collecting that on your own. You sure I can have it? Aces, thanks much. Alright, that's all the materials. Come on, Gassane, time to fix this busted bridge of yours. Son and done. The bane of all contractors, yep. I believe it. It's falling down the cliff. Timber! Whew, good catch. Those wings sure come in handy, eh? Or wingy. Hey, don't set your tail down there. That's a support beam, not a perch. And now for the finishing touch. Here it goes. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes, feeling pumped. Gonna get this done in one fell swoop. Son and done. Oh. The bridge, it's finished. Uh -huh. Amazing, fantastic. Now we can carry supplies across. Oh. I gotta say, I was a little worried about how it turned out, but what a beaut. You could hit this bridge with ten blizzards at once and it wouldn't so much as creak. Oh. With that done, life in Rito Village should return to something like normal. I will take responsibility for guarding the bridge. Please accept this br this gift. Carpentry sounds like a martial art in Hyrule. Yes, it does. I had that money set aside for repairing the bridge, but I hope you'll get some use out of it. Ah. And with that, I'm off to Lookout Landing. Gassane, if you ever need my help, just say the word and I'll come running. No problems too small. Huh. Thank you. That's very reassuring. And the same goes for you. You have an open invitation to call upon our help. A bridge connecting Hillians and the Rito, literally and otherwise. This is going to make a great article. Our, oh, maybe we should work on the, uh, the actual, like the journalism missions. I assume that was part of it. You may pass. Thank you very much. Hey, you fixed the bridge. Know what that means? Aww. Tracy's always got lots of tasks for me, so I'd better finish quickly with the supplies and get back to work. I don't even want to think about all the documents I'll have to organize when I return to the... The library? Tell me more. Mm. 
Melina's husband became sick. She's upset she pushed him past his limits, but it seems that Gliok guts will cure him. Unfortunately, they come from a three-headed monster flying over Gerudo Canyon. That's lovely. Disastering Gerudo Canyon. Where are the wells? You've told her the locations of 11 of them. Decorate with passion. Amy's been losing sleep. The fierce deity. Potential princess sightings. Newspaper editor Tracy says that people all over Hyrule have been seeing someone who might be Princess Zelda. She wants you and Penn to dig up whatever newsy details you can find by visiting stables. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Maybe we'll work on that next. We'll start by visiting our very favorite. Actually, no. I have stuff now. We're going to start right here. Trying out auto build using just stuff for the first time. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it looks green when you use the auto build thing. And it has to recreate the stuff instead of using natural material. That's kind of cool. So you can visually distinguish between the things that are real and the things that are artificially manufactured out of Zonite. Also, I gotta say, this was an expensive version of the truck to build. Thank you, Mio. I like it. Now, we seem to have swapped out weather systems pretty effectively. Where the heck are we going? I guess we'll just carry on and find out. tight fit here. Come on. You can do it. Oh, crap. I remember this bridge. <laughs> I don't think we're driving over that one. Ow. That's correct. How you doing, Callan, right? Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ow. run this across manually. Oh, you, you ooh. Ah. Hmm. 
rude. I think I'm pretty much out of food that just exists purely for curing health. Other than dealing with a real non-Mr. Rogers type person at Canadian Tire Service Center, you're doing okay? Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. I am glad that you're doing okay, but I'm sorry to hear about the rude person. I'm doing pretty good, though. It's a good day so far. I mean, it's mostly been the stream. But I'm making pizza later. That's always a good thing. Exactly. Yay, pizza. I was rather fond of my descriptor. I kept it as Canadian as I could. Excellent. Hopefully you don't have to deal with them for very long. to go back to that bridge, aren't we? That's going to be fun. Oh, who's this fellow traveler? Hey there. You wouldn't happen to also be after Miss Ghost Treasure, would you? Mm. I've walked up and down the roads in this area and I haven't found any caves at all that might hold Miss Ghost Treasure. Maybe I need to look further off the beaten path? That'll be tough in this outfit, finding Miss Ghost Treasure or sullying this one-of-a-kind outfit. Life has presented me with quite the dilemma. This does lead to the bridge eventually. Okay. Already did the important thing, complain to his manager and corporate. He had... Had he been mean to just me, that would be one thing, but he disrespected your wife? Oh, not good. Yes, I do, Callan, right? That is not good. I hope they deal with him. This is this bit. Okay. So that's where we had to, yeah, we had to build the flying contraption to escape. That's fun. Okay. Thank you, Kalanari. I just got back from an expedition into the Underdark that allowed me to collect a whole bunch of Zonite, so I thought I would see what it's like to just summon it out of thin air. I like that it kind of visually marks it all by turning everything green so you know which parts were 
crafted with zonite instead of being real components. It's a really nice touch. This is the first time I've actually crafted anything with zonite. It is, but on the other hand, I got lots of zonite down there. And I killed my first class 2, what you call it, flux construct. So it's not all bad. Assume the top piece is to protect from lightning. It's actually proved to be a pretty decent bomb shelter so far. I mean, it, it's to protect from a lot of things. I don't have enough pieces on this right now to make it fully, you know, fully protected from everything. But if I were to add walls on the sides and the back, it's pretty good defense from thrown weapons. Even just the top part does a pretty decent job of protecting from thrown weapons. But it also provides shade in intensely hot areas where you need shade to stop yourself from broiling alive. Which so far is really only the Gerudo Desert, but I've been there and it came in handy. Yeah, but they also don't reach up. You need full coverage if you're going to protect yourself from the sun. Not that I'm planning on going to a place where I need protection from the sun, mind you. We're headed back towards the stables right now so that we can work on Tracy's missions. I want to see how driving this particular bridge goes. I expect it to be quite the adventure, because there are gaps in the flooring. Oh, but it's actually navigating them quite nicely so far. That big one right up ahead, though... We'll have to see how this goes. Ugh. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Ugh, come on. Up and out. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, I think that next big one is going to probably do about the same. Stop climbing. Okay, so there's a couple spots it still can't quite do. Oh, I got that the first day, yeah, Calendry. My account is from 2015. All right, first stable on our list. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Tabantha Bridge Stable. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Associate. Oh, damn, I didn't want to talk to this guy, did I? Since this is your first time here... No, it's not. I've been here several times, sir. I will add one to your pony points. Must you? Ooh. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. Unwillingly. If you want to get your reward, step to the side counter where I keep the ledger, then call me over. Now then, once again, oh. Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Never gonna happen. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge with oh. us. Now, how can I help you? Link, this was your first time using a stable outside of the mini-stables, right? Oh. 
You can trade your pointy points for pl prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. I can't begin to tell you how disinterested I am in that. Mm. You know, I heard Lookout Landing is recruiting investigators after some kind of big history-changing discovery. I know it's got nothing to do with me, but that's the scuttlebutt. Really? Well, oh, alright, maybe then. This book contains useful member information for those who have registered with the Stable Association. Your pony point information. You need two points to receive the Horse God fabric. Remember, you can also check your pony points card to see how many points are needed for rewards. Great, so the guy that disrespected me and shamed me for not owning any horses in the last game. I don't need his stinking fabric. It probably smells like horses. Mm -hmm. Is something bothering you, young man? Oh, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster, too? Reports say this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Well, judging by the tree, I think we can at least take a stab at where it might be. Hmm. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike all to all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumors. Oh. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? Great fairy flees into flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby Woodland Stable is in a panic. Oh. I'd heard a rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visiting travelers. I was going to head to Elden, the region northeast in northeastern Hyrule, and see if it was true, but oh. I always read every word of these newspapers. Ah. Blood Moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers. On nights when a blood moon rises, so too do monsters that had been defeated. Mm. Huh. This reminds me of that researcher who was studying the blood moon before. They were excited to visit a monster fort and see what they could learn about monsters in the blood moon. But they didn't seem all that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Uh, oh, at seven you get access to a bed that gives you bonus yellow hearts when you sleep. Okay, you're right. That does sound pretty good, actually. I've always wondered how this reading material called a newspaper is made, and who makes it exactly. The big cold snap is over, so maybe I'll go visit the news hounds at the Lucky Clover Gazette and see what I can learn. Pen, what's up? Hardly a trace of a recipe remains, just the remnants of half-eaten Hillian pine cones. Hey, partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd or a trip or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was until all those white goats up and vanished all of a sudden. Mm. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway, why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who was taking care of the white goats? I'll look for more clues. Oh. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. White goats gone missing. Beyond that, it's all horse-related. Beyond a 50% at that point? Okay, gotcha. I'll just probably end up collecting points as I go then. Whether I want to or not, really. the goat guy. 
That's Banji. Kenya. Varium. Giggle. Beetle. Benji. <laughs> Welcome to Tabantha Bridge Stable. When I look at a child's sleeping face, it's like the day's exhaustion simply melts away. Okay. Who was it again? Chork. We haven't seen a chork yet. That's probably you. Hey, buddy. Have you seen some white goats around here? I'd given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. They didn't even finish all their food before they left. The hilly and pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Oh. Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh hillian pine cones. Mm. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day, and it blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe from memory since then. But what would make my white goats spit up the hillian pine cones and run off like that? Did they, did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Could be, Kellen, right? Could be. According to Chark, the white goats ran off after they were given a special feed made from a recipe Princess Zelda created. The only thing left behind when they fled were uneaten hillian pine cones. Did the goats really run off because of the food they were given? Where did they run off to? Where have the white goats gone, and how did they escape in the first place, and how is Princess Zelda involved? The more mysteries there are, are the brighter a reporter's spirit burns. Mm -hmm. Chork says the bottle that he kept Princess Zelda recipe in was blown off somewhere by the wind. As a result, the feed he's been giving his white goats was made from what he could remember off the recipe. I can't believe that Princess Zelda would teach anyone a nonsense recipe. That doesn't seem like her at all. It's important that we find these white goats. Oh. But I think we should also find the recipe. That might shine some light on what exactly Princess Zelda was up to. I'm going to poke around and see if I can turn up any other information. Ah. Keep up the hard work, partner. The answer to this mystery is close. I can feel it. Something sounds like something got his goats. Yes. Yes, it does. Is that Beetle? Oh, no, it isn't. That's a Korok. All right, we can do a Korok mission. Maybe we'll turn up the goats on our way. Oh, my friend and I got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Just a moment, little guy. Need to harvest on the way.
We're getting there. We're getting there. I promise. Oh, right. I remember that. The suspicious bananas. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yeah. All right. We have had no luck finding the goats this far. Right. We need to head back. Maybe try the other direction some. Just don't give up the goat, or is that give up the ghost? Don't give up either. Okay, this is interesting. This kind of seems a bit like a suspicious trail of hilly and pine cones. It seems like that might be significant in some way. Rain's, rain's making me chilly. Better go get under something. Okay, you do that. Okay, so the trail is going off that way. Maybe we were actually on the right track after all. Well, the trail continues here. Oh, we have bats. goes up onto that one next. So they're actually a fair distance away. Interesting. Huh. 
Uh huh. Whoa, those are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them? Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Wait! Oh, no! Grind the pine cones into a powder! I'm not supposed to use the Hillian pine cone hole? I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats, they must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe the Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them that you care with all your heart. I swear that from now on I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. I saw everything, partner. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm, do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? I think not. I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. That must be it. Nothing else makes sense. I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start to the old nest egg. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. Alright, I'm going to hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Bye. So are long. Nice. Okay, where's the next stable? So that was here. We could go to New Serene Stable, I think. Yeah, they are really good. I like that one. That was fun. Remember that place? We had a shrine mission over there in the first game. Or the last game. Okay, so you do have to take a little bit of care when <laughs> off roading at least.
Nope. Nope. Korok in distress. Wow, is it almost break time again? What the heck? I guess that's going to be our last break of the uh, stream, too. This being Friday, I am going to have to go and, you know, probably wrap up about 10 to 6 so that I have time to get out of here and do dinner stuff. Oh, my friend and I got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. That, what? <laughs> okay. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. That's upside down. Oh, whoops. That's better. Need to move it a little. That didn't help, did it? Can I reach it from here? Okay, that's actually tricky. That's tricky. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to take that break now. We will figure this out when I get back. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, now's a real good time to do it and I'll be back in just a few. <laughs> what? Okay. I call BS on that. Pardon me, this program is too stupid to glean your desire from such a wonderfully crafted sentence. Please try something else. Not Gerd. Oh, you're not up. Vampire! Oh, that was cool. There we go, finally! Mistake was you showing your face. 
You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people, and it's time to face the Jarl's just You taste my well, sword! Well, another maggot. I'm not afraid of my Not impressed. Don't Thanks, guys. The air in here is too cold. Okay. This is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have um I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So I don't know, we'll see. Fight or flight, sometimes the best strategy is to run away. I got news for you, game. I'm on a motorcycle. But the, Whoa! I was on a motorcycle, never mind. Wrecking my hand crossing. Get the heck out. Look at this mess you made. Rude. What was that? There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, Mako, you can do it. Make your forebears proud. Okay, back. Thank you. Now, I can't help but notice it gave me the two platforms here. Okay, that's a rock. Hmm. Anything hiding back here? <laughs> Voltvin Trout. Might have to come back and do this one later, maybe. No, we're a little guy. We'll get you there eventually. Just maybe not right this moment. 
I mean, I suppose I could break out a fan, and put that on, and that would give us some direction to get over there, but it's not really the priority right now. Now, can I make it across here? This looks like mostly shallow water. Yep. Easy. Okay. We're not going that way then. Be the stable out that way. That oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, uh, that's a little bit of a drop. Hmm. Maybe this is not the way to go. Maybe we backtrack just a little bit. the sign up here. Edison, what's up, sir? You're awfully close to this monster encampment. Are you sure you're alright? What's going on? Okay, that looks easy. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. I see you. What do you think you're up to? Well, it looks relatively easy. Sorry, Addison. Won't be but a moment. Probably do it all on its own, actually. Ah! Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Ah! How's the president standing? Ah! That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah. Just put this right there, get that fastened, and... Ah. Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Spicy veggie rice balls. But I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. 
Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. All right. Um, I guess we go around the lake because I don't think we're going to take this over it. the stable. Can we get down here? Oh crap, is it on the other side? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Unbelievable. Oh. Careful there, partner. You went and scared all the little bird birds away. You go storming around like that and it just won't just be birds you send flying for the hills. It's fine, though. I did hear some interesting chirps and warbles from them. Mm. I don't want to say this too loud and start a panic, but rumors are spreading about Princess Zelda that she's been seen riding some mysterious beast. Mm. It's said to be a mountain of a beast, too, one with huge, brutal tusks. My little reporters have never seen something so frightening. Of course, what made it far worse was that it seemed like the princess herself was controlling this terrifying creature. Mm. I find it hard to believe a beast like that could really be lurking in Hyrule. Yeah, because, you know, monsters are so rare in these parts. But if this terrifying monster exists, then the implications make this a very, very huge story. Well? You know, there were guests at this stable talking about some kind of rumored beast. My little bird informants told me that there have been a number of sightings in the subtropical region in the south. If we want to learn more, we should dive beak first into this stable and others to see if there's any truth to these rumors. Huh. We just need to peck away at this until we figure out if it's an enticing truth or an elaborate fiction. The Beast and the Princess. We saw a photo of the, or a, a picture at least, of the beast in the last one. All of these bird puns are so excellent. Yes, they are. I like them. Mm -hmm. hey. Welcome to New Serene Stable. Aww. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Aww. It looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger, then call me over. Now then, once again, welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? No, I'm good. A Melania bed? Oh. If you sleep in a Melania bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Melania the horse god may also share a mystical message. This makes it a very popular choice among our lodgers. But we don't offer such luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Melania beds. You know, I heard Lookout Landing is recruiting investigators after some kind of big history-changing discovery. I know it's got nothing to do with me, but that's the scuttlebutt. Have a great night, Aranor. Thank you so much for stopping by and helping out. Let's see, what's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette? 
Dorito Village safe from Cumulus Crisis. Dorito life returns to normal with the departure of the massive cloud. And in related news, the Stormwind Dark, a ship straight out of the legends of the Dorito, has appeared. Mm. Oh, I remember hearing about a fabled savior of the Rito tribe. I thought for sure that was a fairy tale. Guess I was wrong. Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Mm. Uplifting news, the Skyview Towers are now active. The Skyview Towers, developed by eminent researcher Pura and built in every region, now light up our skies. The Brave Swordsman Link was the first to soar overhead via a tower's launching platform. So that's what those huge things are. I'd heard they were for making maps, but what this about, what's this about a launching platform? Mm. There's so much to read in these newspapers. Mm. Strange to think that I can learn about world affairs just by reading the paper. Seems like that big cold snap in Hebra is over. Maybe I ought to take a little field trip to the Lucky Clover Gazette. Hi. Hello, welcome to Rito Stable. No, that's not right. I meant to say New Serene Stable. <sighs> yeah, sorry. I just moved over here from Dorito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. <sighs> it was a stable much like this one, but in front of Dorito Village to the west of here. The big cold snap shut it down, though. <sighs> I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something. Hebra can be really cold, so if you want to go to Dorito Village, you need to prepare for extreme weather. Uh -huh. Oh, by the way, please take this. Oh, thank you. I don't need it anymore, so oh. if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shopkeeper at the center counter. Yes, I am, Kalanray. Although it's a little bit of a habit, too, at this point. Oh. Do you need something? If so, you'd be better off asking, asking a stable worker for help. I'm just a visitor. Ah. My older brothers have been arguing incessantly about where to go next. It's exhausting. I got so tired of listening to them that I had to seek refuge out here. Oh. I don't put much faith in either legends or rumors, but more than that, I find the caves and fallen ruins caused by the upheaval to be a much, much more interesting area of study. <laughs> New Serene Stable Well. I don't remember if we've been here, but I think I must have been. That was not the notice of a new well discovered. Thought your ears were playing tricks on you? Nope. Not this time. A legendary weapon, you say? Anya, give that a little more thought. Things with legendary in the title are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. Mm -hmm. But that rumored beast you're after, that's that that's what's just a story. Hmm. No, no, go to any stable in Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the rumored beast. Stables are places where information gathers. If it weren't true, you wouldn't hear about it at so many stables. Oh. Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding this rumored beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. We would have nothing to fear of monsters. <clears throat> and what if this weapon is legendarily brittle and useless, hmm? Let's start visiting stables to gather information and track down that rumored beast. What are your thoughts on a nice nature walk? I don't really think of nice nature walks very often, I gotta be honest. I'm a pretty big fan of the great indoors. Why do you ask? And also, it's good to see you, Zerpy. How are things going? Mm. A beast that's rumored to be a mountain of a creature and has huge, brutal tusks. We might have a real situation here if the princess really is controlling it. Ah. Well, for now, we need to gather more information. There was a visitor here talking about sightings of a rumored beast in a subtropical region to the south. Hopefully, you can pluck out some more details by checking in at stables. Okay, so it looks like we might be done at this particular stable. <laughs> looks like Lookout Landing might be next on our list. Which is good, because I want to go back to the Crystal Refinery. So we just basically follow this south and don't take any turns, and we're good.
So I'm guessing those little blue guys are there to sort of mark the locations of caves, it seems. They don't seem quite the same in this game as they are. Oh. 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 Well, that's inconvenient. See if he can outrun a truck. Let's also see if we can fit the truck. Oh my god. Through the cave. And... Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... Um... already. Ow! I need a better vantage point to swing from. You know, I could use a new... Oh, the Hinox is giving up. Good. Okay. I'm gonna ditch this. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to turn it into a new axe when I find a suitable stone. Mount Gustav Well. Let's see if I can fix this now that things have quieted down slightly. Oh, 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 perfect. Look at that! I got all of them! That is awesome. Thank you. Um. We need to dump this over here. Oh, there's a chest. Yep. Traveler's sword. No thanks. No can do. Madison, what are you doing here? I can't believe... Well, okay, actually, given the trees, the undiscovered well over there, the he knocks in the bridge, I guess I can believe that we haven't been here before. This looks like it's actually set up pretty well for our use already. Oh, this is a very well-stocked one. Look at this. We've got so much stuff. Oh. 
Oh, this one's actually slightly tricky. Honestly, that's probably... You know what? I don't need that, I don't think. That should be enough pieces on its own. Depends on the tolerance for falling. It's going to fall a little, but it won't fall much. If it falls little enough, we might be in business. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Oh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. That's a very good one. Thank you so much. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. And we're just about there. Oh. I guess I wanted to go off this way, didn't I? Whoops. Sadly, this is where we lose the use of our handy dandy truck. It looks like we've got new side missions over here, which is good. I assume they're side missions. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Uh, 
Oh, right. I have to go to a place where I can get... Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. Uh, maybe we'll just do that real fast. I know of the one handy one right up here. Oh, actually, there's the other one, too. Might be even easier. Because I don't remember the precise location of it here. Um, let's maybe try... Bargainer statue. Oh, there's a bargainer statue there? I didn't even know that. We'll go there instead. Since a portable pot doesn't use fire, you can cook with one even in rain. Okay, so that's actually good to know. Yeah, we'll use this one. It's got more stuff anyway. Okay, now we can go back. I have enough. I can complete my second battery bit. I can definitely see why people run out of Zonite so quickly, though. Between building vehicles, which costs a lot, and getting these charges, that's, uh, that, that's, you go through it pretty quickly. Get producing. I'm just about to wrap up, Sketchy, but welcome back. We're not quite done yet. Almost. We still have to figure out who we're going to go raid. I have refined your crystallized charges into one energy well. I would enjoy further visits from you. Perfect. Okay. Okay, Josh has got something for us, but we'll have to deal with that next time. It is getting close to 6 o'clock, so I've got to get ready for dinner stuff. I need to make dinner tonight, so... Let's save the game and go find somebody awesome to go raid. Thank you all for being here. It's been really fun today. I like that we have streams of this game that have very varied content. We really didn't do much in the way of shrines today. In fact, I don't think we even visited one. 
and yet we still did a whole lot and accomplished a whole lot. That's really cool. All right, let me consult my list here. Let's see what we have going on. Looks like Candlejack is playing MotoGP 23. I'm not familiar with that game. Um, Metwick is on playing Darkest Dungeon 2. Kismet is playing Seven Days to Die. If you want more Zelda, Aurora Peachy, we haven't rated her in forever. She's playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Katie Peters is on, of course. She's playing They Are Here, Alien Abduction Horror. Uzi Princess is on. She's playing Diablo 4. Oh, Nelvara is on. I don't think we've ever had a chance to raid Nelvara. She's gotten to raid us a few times, but we've never raided her. I think we gotta go raid her. We gotta raid her. Navara's a good friend. I've been watching her for a while now. She plays a lot of... Well, she she doesn't get to stream as often these days because she recently had a child, and so streaming time is limited. But when she was streaming more regularly, she played a lot of classic adventure games and a lot of fun stuff. So uh, let's see. Jessica, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate that, and I appreciate the lurk too. We're going to go raid uh, Navara. She's not playing anything at the moment. She's in just chatting. They are watching Summer Game Fest trailers. So let's go have a look at some of those. It looks like right now she is watching a Star Trek game trailer. And uh, that's fun for her because she's a huge Star Trek fan. So let's go see what's going on with her. And uh, I will meet you guys over there. So we're going to go raid Navara. Looks like... Oh, thank you, Ultra. So we're going to go raid her. Uh, looks like the bot is acting up a little bit. It's probably being slow. But I will get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote, the wave emote, and the shh emote of the uh, channel. If you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. Oh, thank you for the shout out. I appreciate that. Um, th so that'll take you to her link you can follow if you like so let's get over there and we'll see what's going on and um, we'll see how the summer game fest is looking to her I've got a lot of the trailers already posted in the discord but we'll watch them live with her and see what's going on so I will be back tomorrow I'll be on at my usual time I'll be able to go a little later than I am tonight and uh, hopefully I'll see you back here for that. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.